Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. So this video is going to be very personal to me, and it's what college did for me. So if you don't know, stuff in the United States, there's 12 grades of schooling. However, if you have the right circumstances, you can actually replace the last two years of high school with college. And I wouldn't necessarily say I got lucky enough, but that happened to me where I replaced the last two years of my high school with college. And it was 15 credits a quarter, except for summer quarter. And it was interesting to say the least. Now, what college did for me, there's, you know, minor skills. Like, I got better at writing. Um, I learned parts of pre-calculus. But the actual things that it did for me that helped me now is very far and few between. So in those two years, I got an Associates of Arts degree which is a slang term for you got, you did two years of a little bit of everything and you're ready to specialize or quit college. That's the way I explain it. So I did a little bit of everything. And I really learned, I learned only a few things from two years of college. Now granted, remember this, I didn't pay for my college credits, but we still, paid for the books. We, I'm, my family still paid for the books. It was still two to three hundred dollars a quarter, okay? Um, I basically had an excuse to learn Photoshop. Um, that's, I think, the most tangible thing that college did for me. I learned some critical thinking skills that I would have learned anyways. And I learned... Like this whole thing, you guys ever notice when I film a video, there's always one topic to it and I stick to the one topic? That's something I learned in a college videography class. But other than that, thinking back, I mean, I took a psychology class. I mean, I took, I, let, let me think, psychology, math, public speaking, two different English classes, a uh, book class, right? Art. I took art. I took science. I took P.E., Right. The only other thing that college really did for me was it taught me Pilates exercises that I use today. And I only really use the concepts of Pilates today. So that's all it really did for me. It did nothing to me. But the main, the untangible things, well, those are the tangible things it did for me. Skills I learned, concepts I learned, things like that. The thing that it taught me the most is it taught me what I didn't want to be. And I think that's actually a good thing. If something teaches you what it doesn't want you to be, that's good. A lot of the people there, while, yes, they were learning, they weren't thinking. They were expecting everything to be handed to them. Okay, this is something I didn't think, like, okay, I've heard the whole terms of colleges do this to this and this and they're this and they're this, but experiencing that firsthand, college, there's a lot of my friends who were kind of like on the, fe you know, in ninth and 10th grade on the fence of whether or not they were good people or not or hardworking and college really solidified in them that everything's going to be handed to you. Everything is this, everything is that, you know, and it gave them a strict way of thinking. And college showed me I didn't want to have a strict way of thinking. I wanted to have an open mind. And, you know, I noticed like in a history class with 30 people, small class, 30 people, like we had a discussion on whether or not you could vote at 16. And the first argument that came, Everyone agreed to it. They didn't think about it. And I thought about it, and then I, like, disagreed with it just because I wanted to see what happened. But it's, like, the first idea, everyone agreed to it, and then they didn't. And and they didn't change their opinions. And so it was, like, the majority of people believed that you should vote at 16 because that was the first piece, that was the first argument that came up was you should vote at 16, right? And I just think that college was a waste of time. It was a waste of time. It showed me that, like, if you don't want to be special, if you want to be normal and not, and just be, like, depressed, that you follow a bunch of preset rules that everyone before you've set. 
Let me tell you guys something about my parents. This is something that I learned. College showed me the negative side of this, so I did the positive side. While I disagree with my parents on how I should live my life, I'm not sitting there hating them because they told me to do something and I don't like it. I like making YouTube videos. They can say that, oh, I don't understand it, and da 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 but I'm like, okay, I still enjoy making YouTube videos. I'm not listening to them on how to live my life like you would normally expect from a college student. And so college showed me that if you don't like college, but you just do it because your parents say, you're gonna have a messed up life, man. You're gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna suck, All right? And I think that college just reinforces the fact that, like that mindset of listening to your parents even though they don't know you. Like, something that I thought of in college was how much my parents don't know about me, how much they don't know that I know, how much I have goals, and I have stuff that I want to do, and they just don't know it, right? None of my professors knew what I wanted out of their classes, and my parents don't know what I want out of life, and that's what college taught me. It taught me, it showed me the bad side of of the opposite of being independent and it showed me what it could do to you and it showed me that I need to be independent I need to think independently but it, it literally college didn't teach me that though it showed me that by producing poor critical thinkers and poor people that in life are gonna be poor and miserable so that's what college did for me guys I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you been to college? What's college done for you? For me, it just showed me that it's possible to create entitled babies and also people that just listen to society and are spineless. That's what it is. So that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe for more videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.